We're asked to rewrite the expression x squared plus 22x plus 100 in the form a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. So we're writing the given expression in the form on the left and the form on the right. To do this, we'll follow these four steps. Step one, if the leading coefficient of a doesn't equal one, we'll factor a from the x squared and x terms. Notice in our example, the leading coefficient is one, so we can skip step one and move to step two. Step two, we wanna form a perfect square trinomial. To do this, let's set this up as x squared plus 22x, and then we'll add a constant here that'll make this a perfect square trinomial. So we still have plus 100. Whatever constant we add here to maintain equality, we'll also have to subtract it here. So again, step two, we wanna form a perfect square trinomial. So for review, we wanna add b divided by two squared here, where b is the coefficient of the degree one term, or the coefficient of x. Notice here, b is equal to positive 22, so we're going to add 22 divided by two squared, which would be 11 squared, which equals 121. So by adding 121 here, we now have a perfect square trinomial, and then step three, we're gonna undo the value added to form the perfect square trinomial. So because we added 121 here, we also need to subtract 121 here to maintain equality. Notice how this expression is still equal to x squared plus 22x plus 100. And finally, step four, we wanna factor the perfect square trinomial. So we wanna factor this trinomial here. And it'll always factor into x plus b divided by two squared, where b divided by two would be 11. So we are going to have the quantity x plus 11 squared Let's go ahead and show the work anyway. We have two binomial factors, and then we have 100 minus 121, which is negative 21 or minus 21. And then factoring here, we have a factor of x here and here, and the factors of 121 added 22 are 11 and 11. So we have plus 11 and plus 11. So in factored form, we have the quantity x plus 11 squared minus 21. Now we have the expression in the form requested, which is the form a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. Notice a would be one. Because it has to be in the form of x minus h, notice how h would actually be negative 11, and then k would be negative 21. This will be important when we use this form to graph quadratic equations. I hope you found this helpful.